Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to import your Excel or CSV data to create a visual report. So follow me to my desktop right now. All right, this is our Job Form dashboard, and the first thing that we have to do to import our Excel or CSV data is by selecting the form that we want to use. Let's go into More, go to View Reports, and in this section is where we're going to import. So let's go into Create a Report. Let's use the visual report builder for this demo. We're going to use the import data, go to next. We're going to upload our file. In this case, we're going to use an Excel file, but you can use a CSV also. Let's go ahead and go to next. And in this section, we're going to select what are the columns that we want to bring inside and also decide what type of column type this actually is. So for example, this demo Excel that we're using, they're all short text. But if you need it, for example, to import a long text, single select, multiple select or numbers, we select the column type. Let's go to start import. OK, the data has been imported. Let's put a report name now. So in this case, we'll put report for video and we can select the report type, a blank extended report or a compact report. Let's go ahead and select compact report for this demo. And now the report has just been imported. So we have the data right here. We have the same sheet data that we have on our Excel. But what happens if we grab one of this information? For example, the submission date. If we select this column, we go into settings. We can select the chart type. Now this makes it more interesting, more visual appealing to whoever's going to view the report. So for example, we can select donut chart, pie chart, column chart, and bar chart. Any of the ones that you want to use. Again, we can do it for these. This is just one single piece of information, but if we select the chart, it's 100% for that name. It looks nicer. We can also resize these. So for example, if you don't need it to be too big, you can move it. We can change the name for this. Um, by default, it's grabbing the submission title, but we could change it, for example, just to name or something else that you might need. We can drag these. And we have more options to import data. If we go to the plus button on the left, we can import text, headers, images, shapes, icons, and grid. Plus, we can again import the same data to use it, for example, on this page. Let's just say that this sheet right here, we want to put all the data that we grabbed and just everything, every single type of report in here. So for example, we have the submission date and name. What happens if we want to put the submission date? Well, we just drag it inside. There we go change the column type. Again, we can drag another one, for example, the email. Resize it to fit here. Okay, and this will be a pie chart, for example. All right. And just like that, you can fill out your report. Again, you got more pages to work with. You can delete the page, you can clone it, you can move it up or down, or you can add more information. Now for each for each section that we select, we have settings on the right. For example, we also have the data right here, the colors, we can customize the style. And we have a default style selector for the whole form. For example, if we go into the settings style, we can change the chart palette. For example, we have these default color palettes, but you can add your own. And we also have the option here to view the slides. If you want to move them up or down here, instead of doing it with the arrows, that's also possible. But that is how you import your Excel or CSV data on JotForm. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.